as we enter the last quarter of 2023, the heart property market is hardening and the young estate agents that are working as NEGs and valuers in estate agency are having to pivot and change. Today, I'm joined by um, Jonathan Morgan and he's here to talk to me about the people who are attracted to become estate agents, but also the existing younger agents, the NEGs and valuers and how they're having to pivot. Talk to me. Hundred percent. So it's all down to essentially Netflix and selling sunset. You know, we get so many messages from the next generation of people looking to come and be an estate agent. And when we send them to a fifty thousand pound house that's falling down, they kind of get the idea that what they see on telly is not what's really going to happen. Is it? Are you really? You're getting. You're yeah. getting TikTokers. Oh yeah, they they want to come and they shoot videos, and that's all that we do is show people around. Because you're houses. big on video, which we're going to talk about in a separate video but they all, they honestly think they're turning up you know obviously you've got the foot the foot slowly going out to the lambo yeah. so, you know that's it yeah yeah it's oh. unbelievable but yeah that's what it is that's all it is it, it's showing so, what, next time. is this negs or valuers or i think people have no idea what a neg or a valuer is at this point um it's a completely different take so, and uptick to the market so are you just putting a job out there saying a state agent wanted or are you just getting no, no, we, you? no. We we get a phenomenal amount of people contacting me directly through socials, and is that do you think because of you do all the videos? Yeah, one hundred. Because I, this, you know, I interview lots of estate agents, and you blew my mind because no one gets this. Yeah, we it's get because it. you're doing the, yeah. the videos. I think so. Yeah, I think people look at it and they see what what it is, and they think oh, I could do that. I'd like to show people around houses. I'd like to walk around nice, expensive houses. Obviously, we produce video for almost every property. But the ones that go off are the, the clickbait or the property porn. It's the high-end properties that people see. And we get people who are 17, 18, 19 and message us and say, oh, I'd like to show people around houses. How do I do it? And, and that's apparently, that's what a state agency is now. It's only seen oh, as showing people I, around houses. I didn't realise. Okay. So, so do you have to rent a Lambo as well, then? Uh, yes, I can't afford one at the minute, but <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> have you actually taken anyone on? Um, not to do that role, no, but we, yeah, we, we're definitely seeing a different generation. You know, the, the average age in my workforce is, you know, a lot lower than it was 10 years ago. Also with regard to the, the, the these, these agents in their early twenties, um, is it right, you know, I'm making sweeping statements here, but they, they don't like picking the phone up to people because. 100%. So we, we've seen a uh, loss of the skill of administration. It's become so reliant on technology that the actual skill set of being an estate agent is very low at the minute. Um, you know, I remember having a hot box of clients, you know, keeping that in the front seat of the car, you ring through the people that were going to be looking for it. If, guys, if you're in your 20s and you, and you don't know what a hot box is, speak to someone in your office that's got grey hair, gray hair or no hair. Yeah, so, you know, that's... Mate, can you remember the good old days? Oh, yeah. oh hot boxes. <laughs> so I went in the office the other day and I said, right, I've got a house coming on the market, but they won't come on until they find this house. I said, who have we got for it? And the office all looked at me with wide eyes and open mouth. Like, we'll match it out. I was like, what? We'll match it out. And I said, who have you got? And four of them all were like, what do you mean? And that's my office. And I'm like, no, this is what we do. We have to pair. So over the last few weeks, because the market has changed, we've had a massive drive of lining people up for their next property. And I was trying to explain that we had to do this before the computer would do it for you used to keep a list of people who you were going to buy. That skill is gone. Ringing people up and asking them, why didn't you put your house on with us? People are afraid to ask the questions, but we need that skill set to come back. But the new generation coming through is so reliant on admin that they don't like leaving answer phone messages. They won't pick up a withheld number ringing or an unknown number ringing. You know, and it, I find it mind boggling, but obviously I've got a different look on it because I've been brought up doing this. But I think a lot of the people coming through now will have a huge problem with what's going to be expected from them, whether it's in a corporate agency that is going to demand the numbers for ringing, 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 or you've got a family business that's going to be looking at them to do those basic things, which is going to knock on the door or asking somebody, why didn't you buy the house? It's a skill set that's gone from the industry, I think. What are you doing to plug that gap? Um, apart from throwing my toys out the pram repeatedly. Because you haven't had to teach them this, have you? No. Because for the last few years, it's been all the taking a state agency. And this is the thing that, you know, we're now in a position where I can remember doing 20 viewings with one person before they bought a house. Pretty much everybody in the industry is used to doing 
20 people living in one house and having 20 offers during COVID. They've become spoiled in that sense of how hard being an estate agent used to be. We mentioned earlier, you know, going out all day and not coming back with an offer. That's not fathomable to people, you know, it's mad. Do you think this is endemic in the industry? Um, put my neck out and I say it's going to become more of a problem in the next few weeks. Market's changed. The, it's going to get a lot more difficult and those people are not going to be able to hide if they don't possess that skill set. And it really comes down to the responsibility of the boss to train their team, yeah. pivot pretty quickly. To retrain, completely retrain, because you're going to now have people who were great at one thing who's not required anymore. It's, it's not there, that job's gone. You know, the, the people now, you need a, need a bit of dog about them. They're going to have to be picking up the phones. They're going to have to be ringing people, chasing, don't even get me started on conveyancing, but chasing clients, getting people to make offers. Then, you know, one of my staff recently didn't want to ring a vendor because the offer was so low. And I laughed. I was like, how low is it? And it was only 10 grand below asking price. And I was like, I used to get 50 grand below asking price and it was on for 100, <laughs> you know? So you've got to learn a whole new skill set yeah. again and retrain really, yeah. really quickly. Otherwise, you're going to have a huge hole in your they, they, You blame the market. You, you know, the offers are coming in. It's not my fault. Yeah. This is what the market say. But, it, you, you know, you do take it personally because everybody likes to give good news. You know, we've become great as an industry at giving good news. Do you want to put it on for Yes, we put it on for that. We'll have viewings, you'll have offers straight away. You know, but now that's changed. And I think there's a whole new skill set coming through. And, I, you know, I like to class myself as a younger generation. Whether I am or not anymore is, is questionable at 35. Yes, but I think you've got an old, an old head on young shoulders, haven't you? Yeah. Due to the fact is that you've been in the state agency that long and not you were held back, but I think it was the right thing to hold you back, wasn't it? Yeah, 100%. But, you know, now I'm looking at it with all this new fantastic technology that we've got, but it's still looking at my phone of people I've seen in the last week, picking up the phone to them saying, I've just gone to a house, I've just left it, it's going to be the right house for you, we've got to get you on the market. You know, so we're starting to make chains again. But pre-change, so before it even comes on the market, I've got one person who wants to buy one house, and then that house is going to come on the market. And I don't think there's a lot of people left in the industry where they've become disheartened, they've retired, they, they've just moved, or they've gone into the corporate world, left to do that. And I think smaller family business, single branches that rely on the market are really going to come into that. And it's going to be a very difficult few months for a lot of people, and a lot of home truths for managing directors, sales directors that have, like me, you know, taken their eye off that a little bit because we've been trying to deal with other things. Mm. Well, interesting times ahead. Thank you for your time today. No problem at all.